Welcome Agricultural Biology. Today what we're going to learn is how to use the spirometer. This is kind of a unique looking device. It has a mouthpiece, it has the handle, and of course is the amplifier box. I'm going to um, teach you or demonstrate for you how to set this piece of equipment up and how to use it to be able to figure out the amount of air that's with, within our lungs. So we're going to look at respiration and, and in particular like tidal volume and some other terminology like that. Before I plug this in, I want to go over a couple of pe uh, features that they have that you need to know about. The mouthpiece, of course, is disposable, so once the subjects use it, we need to throw it away. Um, but a couple of things on it. You'll notice these little posts right here. There are two of them, but also there's this little leg right here, and that's going to be really important to be able to get a good tight seal on the handle. If we take a look at the inside part of the handle, you notice there's two holes where those, um, uh, basically those two legs fit into. And then at the very top of this top one, you'll notice a small little hole. That's where that little finger goes. So we're going to line this up properly. We're going to make sure this finger goes into the small hole next to the two large ones. And we're just going to be able to seat it just like this. And if you seat it properly, the handle will fit nice and securely around the mouthpiece. Now if we look at the amplifier box, it's a little bit more unique in the fact that it has two lights. It has a weight and it has a ready. When you first plug it into the data port um, and you press play, the green little switch, this weight is going to be blinking. Do not pick up the mouthpiece until that light stops blinking. It's usually red. When the ready or the green light launches, that's when you pick up the mouthpiece and use it. So I'm going to take this amplifier box and put it in our data port. And notice what happens. As soon as we put that in, it, the data logger uh, recognizes it. And we're going to build a page just like we've done on all the other uh, demonstrations I've done. So you're going to click flow rate or liters per second. And all you're going to click this time is you're just going to go ahead and click the uh, graphing tool. So when that uh, launches, you're going to press OK. Now, to make this happen, you first of all press play. Again, you look at the amplifier box. The wait light will blink red. Once it stops blinking, it'll blink ready. Now, what it's doing when it's blinking red is it's calibrating the air around the mouthpiece so that it knows um, how much volume you're going to be uh, breathing out in it. So I'm going to click this, the play button, and what's happening currently right now is the wait button has stopped, so I picked it up and it says ready. All right, I've just uh, done a couple of different things here just to show you what your graph ought to look like. Now, what I did was doing it when I had those really big waves. Uh, what I did is I, I clicked on the flow rate or the y-axis and drug those numbers down um, so that the amplification wasn't going to outstrip uh, the, the content on my graph. So I'm going to just enlarge it a little bit. And, of course, I'm going to move it by clicking that line and moving it over so you can see what's going on. So if we take a look at just one of these, this right here is referred to tidal volume. That is basically how much air you're moving just in, in basically one breath very quietly. It's not forced at all. And then what I did is I um, took in a breath right here and then I forced it out right here. And this is called the expiratory, um, expiratory reserve volume. That's basically, if we have this line right here, run straight across the tidal volume. This is what your normal breath is. When I um, exhale, this is the reserve that I have in my lungs right across here. Basically from here to here. So that tells you what, what my reserve is. 
Now, on the, the last one, I, I, I took a fairly, not almost a maximum amount of, um, when I inhaled my um, inspiratory uh, breath, I took a pretty big deep breath, almost maximum. And this would be, right here, my maximum would be my maximum uh, or inspiratory reserve volume. That's how much my lung can actually hold. And then if we look at the whole thing all together, that's called the vital capacity. So I'm going to change colors again here to green. So basically from here to here, this is my vital volume. This is my total volume of air that I can expel and also keep into my lungs. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be setting this up and each one of you will be monitoring your, your own capacity in your lungs. You're going to record this and then don't forget to save it. File, save as. And then you're going to put spirometer. One T, spirometer. Your name, period number, and then press save and press OK. And then what you will do is you'll print this out going up to here, journal, print journal, and then you will label this. Now you have to take a look at your um, um, of your instructions because you'll have to find what the title volume is. You're going to have to look at your vital capacity. You're going to have to look at your force expiratory volume in one second. All of those terms that we put on the board a couple of days ago, you're going to have to find the um, what part of the graph represents that. So please make sure you uh, check on the lab write-up we have. Create a graph that's very similar to this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, after you print it out, you're going to label all the parts of the of the graph, um, like I said, with uh, um, with tidal volume, also vital capacity, all of those things that we label on the board, so that you understand a little bit more as far as how your lungs um, 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 function and um, how much how much air you can hold within your in your lungs. So I hope that you'll have an interesting time with this. This is a little bit different than the other labs. Uh, primarily because you're doing a lot of subtracting and you're uh, um, actually um, putting lines and measuring. And you'll be using this tool a lot um, so that you can click on, let's say, the top part of this. And then you can get exactly what the flow rate is, is 18.52. You subtract that by possibly at the lower end here at uh, minus 6.54. So anyway... What you're going to be doing is you're going to probably ask us a lot of questions, and that's okay. That's what this video is for. This is primarily the setup and basically what your uh, graph should look like. So if you have any um, questions, please ask. We're here to help. So hope this helps. Thanks.